Hi, as you can see I have a new background, something that you'll be seeing every now and then. And another thing that you'll be seeing on Thursdays, you'll be seeing me do a Throwback Thursday video where I'll be showing you things from my childhood from like the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and so forth. And that's something to look forward to as well. And what I do here on my channel with you overall is take at least someone's video from another YouTube channel, show you a little bit of it to help me elaborate, to help me myself explain to you as to what kind of world we live in, as well as the creativity each and every one of us in this earth, in this life is. And I'm going to first show you someone who we see here on YouTube. His name is Shane Dawson. He shared something that really, I think that we should be reminded of here. And that is something that he went through just recently. I'll let him explain for you. Hey guys, so I'm at the store right now uh, picking up some stuff to go to Joey's house with. And I decided to tell you about this experience I just had, which is really interesting and awesome. So I was in the bathroom with my scooter. <laughs> and I was in the handicap stall because I am handicapped now. My new life, <laughs> my coming out video. And this guy was really, really rude to me. And when I came out of the handicap stall, he went, ugh. Like, I was taking too long because um, I was handicapped. And as I walked away, he was just like, God, fucking so annoying. And I started crying. Like, listen, I know I'm temporarily handicapped and it's not going to last, you know, that much longer. But I can't even imagine being in a wheelchair or dealing with people being so rude to you. Like, it, make, it just made me cry. It didn't make me cry for myself. It made me cry thinking about other people dealing with stuff like that. And I like I said in my previous video, something I need to tell again. Imagine what it's like not to be me, but someone else. As I see people in wheelchairs or on the internet, I think about what made them want to do this. It was for a reason. Sometimes they explain why, and sometimes they, they don't. I am here to tell you why we do that, and the question is, I wonder why. And I'm now going to show you part of the confessions that he made in his life. He shared something about his life that is something that I would like to share with you about my life. And I will share some of that when he came out saying that he's bisexual, meaning liking both men and women. And then around 21, um, I had my first kiss. Which is embarrassing that I was 21, but that's what happened. Shane, if it makes you feel any better, you should not be embarrassed because I actually kissed a girl for the first time when I was 21. It was the first time I kissed anyone else besides my parents, and it was on the lips, by the way. So there should be no reason to be embarrassed. I know what you felt when you made that video, but I feel it. And it was with a girl, and I felt something. I felt butterflies. I felt the spark. I felt a connection. I felt love. And I was like, oh, I'm not gay. And I just want to make a difference in this world by showing you that love is love. And the other thing I would like to point out is this. Take a look. I don't know who I'm going to end up with. I don't know what my life is going to be. But I just want to be honest about it. And I don't want to lie. And I don't want, if I'm on a date with a guy and a fan comes up to me and takes a pic, I don't want it to be a thing and I don't want people to be like, well, Shane has a secret gay life or, I don't, I want to just be happy. This is what I mean right here in previous videos and everything. Use television as a tool to communicate, just like the internet, way to communicate. We should make them feel loved. We should make them feel good about themselves. Not only that, but to give them a little attention, not a whole lot of attention. Some exposure, but not a whole lot of exposure. And I want to love who I love, whether that's a guy or a girl. And I don't want to be guilty about it. And I don't, and I, I didn't want to make this video. And I'm going to end with showing you a film. Yes, my first ever movie film, Pete Dragon. I hope you know it. It's from 1976 and it was pretty much a kid's film with songs and I'm going to show you part of a song that was saying called There's Room for Everyone in This World. And what it is about is about making room for everyone, no matter who they are, even if they're just a figment of your imagination. There's room for everyone in this world. Oh,
ocean goes, the whirling wind blows shore to shore, door to door. Think of the valleys and mountaintops, the earth never stops. So deep, so high, with miles of sky, we are at one. Even though we ask what kind of world we live in, why we live in this kind of world, it is just something that is fascinating, not only to me, but to many others. And that's something I ask more in depth about, and that's what I like to show you. It's such a good feeling. And remember, John Toomey saying, you are you, and I am me. Together we can make a difference. Don't forget to like, subscribe, such and such. Bye.